What is up guys, it is Naughty Alex here and I am back with some FTBS, this is episode 3. I was going to be doing a live stream on resource collecting, however I just, it's one of these things of, I don't want to do too much without you guys, so as the world's loading is what we're going to do for this episode, is we're going to carry on resource source collecting, but first things first, we need to get some food. Now, it's currently raining so it's not going to be the easiest tasks, but we do definitely need food so once we've got some food the first challenge to be is going to be create an electric furnace and then I'm going to have to figure out how to power an electric furnace because I like the sound of an electric furnace so how many times I can say electric furnace in one sentence I do not know right there's a chicken so we're quickly trying to avoid taking full damage also see some copper which I think I'm going to take as well whilst I'm here um, even though it does appear to be a cave actually right there's no mobs down here I know I've come out for food but I just have this feeling of every little bit of copper I can see I'm gonna want to try and get it so let's jump back out of here where'd that chicken go over there right two chickens right he dropped me a chicken he dropped me a chicken. Now I need to be careful here because I'm going to have to eat this uh, zombie flesh just to keep my hunger up so I don't die of starvation whilst I look for food. I quite like this area here um, at the moment. It's quite good looking and I'm actually, if I got, oh, I've only got one iron got. I was going to try and make a pair of shears but and get some of this wool because I'm going to need a lot of wool for my house design 20 levels of XP already damn that is insane um right how many bits of wool have I got none apparently am I even picking it up I don't think I am no I'm not um let's get rid of my stone sword Oh, I'm not even picking up the chicken. Damn, need to be paying much more attention than what I am at the moment. Right, let's go and kill some more sheep and take this copper that I can see currently. And kill these chickens. There we go. And hopefully I'll be able to get back to the base in time and be able to cook this chicken. Because a lot of people don't know, but um, when it comes to food, you have to be careful with saturation. Because um, if you don't have the right saturation, as you noticed, my food bar was full. I know I was on hunger, so it has gone down a lot quicker. But if I was to say eat melon or something, it would go down a lot quicker than what if um, than what it would do if I had like cooked beef. It, it's just the way Minecraft works. There's another chicken. Take the chicken out. So we've got six cooked chickens but I think for the best saturation and to avoid hunger going down really quickly we need to have things like cooked pork chops and stuffs so what we're going to do is I've got some food now enough to keep me going and not enough to let me venture miles yet but it's as I say it's enough to keep me going so we're going to quickly I saw some copper up here if I'm correct I'll mine it as I go back down. Um, is it over here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. I'll we'll take this copper. This rain is really loud. I don't like rain, it doesn't have any uses. There we go, and we've picked all that up. Excellent. Take that back. Right, so as you can see, my hunger is going down pretty damn quickly. So I'm going to head back to the base now and start cooking this chicken so that I can ow, not die hopefully. By parkour fail as we all know from my map series. I'm not that good at parkour so we're going over to the bright green light. Take that wool. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh that's better. I can hear myself think. that's a water hive by the sounds of it 
it does sound like there's a zombie spawner under here. So what we're going to do, as I said before, I need to eat this chicken. Um, but I need to eat it cooked. Eating it raw is not going to help me. So I think I'm going to start destroying some of this long grass as well. What? That was not normal seeds. Ink sack. Flax seeds. Ah, now. I genuinely do know something about flax seeds. And if I'm right, they give me string if I plant them. So we really do need to start working on an actual base of like evil, not evil, we're not going to be evil, but we do, st do need to start working on a base. So we're going to quickly craft um, our um, marble, we'll take that back. That's all the marble we managed to get in the end. So we're going to chuck. That's my marble chest. And then this chest is going to be my other stuff chest. Um, I'm going to need another. I'm going to need to make another chest. And then uh, we need to figure out how to make an electric furnace. But I feel that before I make an electric furnace, I need to get wood. I'm quite low on wood. So we're going to chuck all of this in here quickly right I want the iron ore and the copper ore out and I want the iron ore and copper ore to start cooking so I'm gonna make a couple more furnaces we'll make three more three one two three one two three chuck them down there all right we'll chuck them like that and then we'll take this coal and we'll split it into three. So we'll chuck that up there, that up there, that up there. you still got plenty in there. Right, let's get this hunger back up so I don't have to sit there worrying about starving to death. There we go. So we're going to split that into three. One two, one two, one two, three, three, one, 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 one. Just trying to equally split everything. Uh, we'll put that one up to there, and then we'll put all of our iron into there, and hopefully that will get cooking. And we, uh, I want to take three of these sapphires and make an axe. Did I get any bones off of this mission? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see. I don't think I've actually seen a skeleton yet. Not complaining. They are assholes. Um, so we're gonna make a sapphire axe. There we go. See, so look. I do know what I'm doing. Cough, cough. Right. So I don't need my pickaxes at the moment. I just want my sword, my meat, and. I did have, I, yeah, I made all my iron, so let's go get some wood. Be right back. And maybe lost this, maybe let's not get some wood at the moment. We are going to use some of that wool we had and make a bed. Right. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's been such a long time since I've genuinely made a bed. Right, hopefully this will work. We'll sleep and then we'll be back and we'll be good to go. Right, that's cooking into copper ingots. Right, let's go and get ourselves some wood. Be right back. Right, we have a before shot and in a second you're going to see the after shot. Our base is just there, so I found this forest and we're now going to rape it to pieces. Be right back. Bat. Go home, you're drunk. Where have you even come from? There's not even a cave around here. Oh, we're pumpkins. Now, this is something I've never seen before, uh, after I've collected this apple. Pink flowers. Uh, indigo flowers, sorry. I lied, they're not pink. But, indigo flowers. So, what we're going to do is, because I've never seen them before, I'm taking them all. Uh, I don't know what mod this is part of. I think it might be a part of the forestry slash bees mod that's in this mod pack. But, um, yeah. 
lots of flowers. I don't know why I'm collecting flowers, but lots of flowers. Take one that I know as well, and another one. Um, but it is turning night time, so what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to... Uh, I'm probably going to just trying to survive through the night, but uh, yeah, I'll see you once I've finished collecting or if I'm near enough dead. Ow! Oh god! Ow! Ow! Surprise ninja attack from a creeper. I heard it hear some panic like a little girl. Quite happy that didn't get caught on camera. Because that was just not even funny. Where is this skeleton shooting from? Right, I don't know, but I want that apple. Gimme. Right, um... I've got enough wood to explore with, but I want to get enough wood to build my house with. House slash base slash area. So, I'm gonna wander away with what I've got at the moment, purely because um, the amount of saplings I've got is unbelievable. And because of that... I don't really need to stay here for much longer because I'm going to plant the saplings around my base. And something I have noticed is my sword's durability is going down quicker than an old man's penis with a Viagra. So I need to get back to the base as soon as because. I'm not going to be able to defend myself for much longer. And that is not good because that is an angry zombie. Ow. Right, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Eat the apple and keep running. Right, I don't know how much durability it has. Um. Let's do that. Hopefully, there we go. It's got two more hits. If you don't know what i just done there, if you press F3 and H at the same time, and then press F3 again so you get rid of all your statistics on the screen, is what happens. It basically allows you to... Um, it basically allows you to see the durability of items. So, I've got 181 hits with... I'm hoping it's above me because I can see grass here. Yeah, it is. I didn't realise I was that close to the surface, if I'm totally honest, though. But I'm not building my house here anyway. It's The area's not nice enough. But, um... I've got my same. Um, I just spilled drink all over me. Excellent. And all on the table. So that was successful. Um, right. I need to build... A another chest because I want to. I I know the more and more stuff I start storing here, the longer it's going to take me to come back. But it's just one of these things that I'm going to have to do, and I'm going to have to. Um, uh, the, 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 yeah, I know what I'm saying. Don't worry. Right. Let's take out all of these copper and iron stuffs. And so what we're going to do, we're going to make ourselves a sapphire sword, I think. So let's do that. And then we can use that. Actually, we might just use that now if we just chuck that down. Um, right, is what we want to do is my mission is to make an electric furnace, which we have here. Now, to make an electric furnace, I need an iron furnace, which is basically how you'd make a normal furnace, but with iron. Um, two redstone and an electric circuit. Now, to get an electric circuit, I need copper cable, six of them, one refined iron, and two more redstone. So, I need four redstone, one refined iron, uh, eight iron, and whatever I need to make the copper cables, which looks like copper and rubber. Now, I need to get rubber, which I know you get from sticky resin, and you get sticky resin from a tree or cooking slime balls. Now, I know that you need to make a tree tap 
to get sticky resin. I think. So I believe you make a tree tap by either using wood or sticks in sort of a Z shape. I think uh, like that. Or is it actually with sticks? Let's find out. Is it with sticks? Um, or did I just design that wrong in the first place? Because it. Right. I've got it there next to me. Why not just use it? Tree. Tap. Ah, oh, I was close. It is wood, but it's sort of a. I don't know what type of shape that is. It's just simply that. Um, but I do remember seeing some rubber trees lying about. Actually, we're going to... I I know of something else. Project table. To make a project table, we need a chest at the bottom, wood around the outside. Oh, I need stone at the top, wood, wood, chest, crafting table. Simple enough, so we're going to need to cook three stone, or do three. I'm going to need a, another chest. Uh, let's just take a, that wood out, because I'm going to need some of that anyway. I'm going to need a crafting table. I'm going to need a chest. Are you done? Yeah, mum. And, and I'll explain what this is in a second. If I remember this crafting recipe properly, it should be like that. There we go. Now, if I place this down, is what you've got is you can put crafting items in here. Um, and just whilst I quickly remember, I need to make one refined iron, and to do so, you just cook an iron ingot again. So you do the iron ore and then an iron ingot. But um, this is what I need to do is I need to make an iron uh, an iron furnace. But say I only had um, seven ingots. If I press escape, it doesn't drop up the floor, which is one good reason to have a project table. Number two is say that I want two iron furnaces. It doesn't take the ingredients from the top. It will take the ingredients from anything in this bottom bar here. Obviously, if you've only got the ingredients that you've put in the actual table itself, you learn, you'll take them ingredients away from it. However, if it's got ingredients that you can use in the bottom so that you can craft multiple ones without having to like put loads in, you can do it that way. So to get it all back out, you just simply, simply shift click. And I believe if you put a bit of paper in here, um, so if I wanted to keep that as a template, if I was to put a bit of paper in there and take that out, I could then um, have that and it would be the template for an iron furnace. And then say I wasn't sure later down the line how to make an iron furnace, I could just take the template, put it in that slot there, and then it would show me how to make it, sort of like a fade out version, which is, I think, which is quite cool. Um, so... I need an iron furnace, I need four redstone, I think I remember saying, one refined iron, because that was like that, I believe that was like that, um, electric furnace, I don't care if Java's losing a lot of memory, uh, oh yeah, I need my electronic circuit first, so we need to actually take that off. Um, and the electric circuit is made um, by that and I need the copper cable now I've forgotten how you make copper cable oh right okay yeah now I remember I remember so I need to go find some sappy um, rubber trees that's what I need now, I don't remember exactly where I spawned, but I remember it's in that direction. So, I'm going to head off into that direction. Actually, I can see one there. Now, a lot of people, you're probably sitting wondering, I thought you said you didn't know anything about Feed the Beast. I know a little bit. I watch people play it. I've never pl well, I've played it other than that one time. I've never played it myself, so I don't know what I'm doing 100%. I don't pay that much attention to the videos either. But, 
these two trees here are rubber trees now you can tell the distinctness because of their tall top bits and the dark wood and the light color leaves so, so what we're going to do is we're going to break this we've got ourselves a sapling there you don't need the leaves um, unfortunately but you can leave the ones that are on top I don't think this tree is going to have any um, sticky resin for me at the moment you'll be able to see it um, hopefully this tree might have some there we go yes this tree does now if I tap that so you just right click to it it takes the sticky resin out so that's the whole process behind that and we'll just carry on destroying these leaves so that there's more bark showing just in case there is more sticky resin let's get rid of this I know it makes the trees look ugly as well but I don't care right let's keep destroying just also like to say that tree is massive I might get the timber mod just so I can have the wood but it's a redwood log so I'm guessing it gives me redwood logs from it uh, that sounds stupid uh, redwood planks if I was to craft it like it's just like a normal log I'm guessing because I know that there are some form craft trees out there so as what we're also going to do is did I, I did kill a skeleton I think so I'm going to go back to the base quickly but I'm going to plant some of these saplings up here before I go just in case I can get a couple of them to grow so I'm going to run back to the base and then I'll be back here in a second Okay, so we have our bone mill. We only had one bone, unfortunately, so we're only going to be able to bone mill maybe, well, well, actually I was thinking it was in the older version where you could only bone mill one tree at a time, but we should be able to bone mill quite uh, all three saplings, or at least three saplings, but it's what I've done, them saplings that I had from um, the, uh, what do you call it, from the trees over there, I've planted it all up and down this hill, so... Um, that's done. I can hear a zombie spawner around here. So I'm going to find this zombie spawner because it is driving me absolutely nuts. Right, let's create that quickly. Sorry if it's dark and you can't see, but I need to create a pickaxe and a shovel quickly just so I can find this a little bit quicker uh, I'll cut until I find it okay so I've hit a cave um, oh god that was as soon as I jumped into the cave I had so many mobs trying to kill me that I just wasn't able to hit record I literally just had to sort of spam um, my sword to try and stay alive now I really do want to try and find this spawner and I'm pretty sure there is one um, so it's just going to be a case of taking a few minutes to try and find it. Oh god, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Right, let's kill this zombie. It might have been a case of there was a lot of zombies down here, but... Um, it did sound like there was a zombie spawner, which would have been quite nice, because hopefully it would have had some enchantment books in it. And I'd have been able to create an anvil and combine them. Well... Um, but yeah, as well I'll do is unless I find it, I'm gonna quickly just mine up these ores whilst I'm down here, and then I'll be back. Okay, so there was no zombie spawner; it was just a lot of zombies by the looks of it. But I did just find this straight down hole, and I'm getting oh, I'm getting distracted as to what I'm meant to be doing. So let's get back up to the surface, find out where the hell I am, and then discover as to of what direction I need to go so let's place this dirt as at the moment I currently don't need dirt because I'm not in the need of a dirty situation right looks like a couple of those rubber trees have actually grown which is good um, and we're gonna quickly oh I've got some more bones because I killed more skeletons so I'm gonna be able to bone mill quite a few of these and it doesn't even make an action when I bone mill them, it just seems to make them grow, which is quite spooky. Um, I'm sure I must have planted more than that. Right, there's some sap on that one. Actually, it looks quite good here. Um, I've got a couple off of that. Uh, so, oh, I actually got quite a lot off of that one. So I've got four now. Um, I remember seeing some more just there. Seven. 
and I remember I think if I'm right I needed seven but it's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly collect a nice amount that way um, I've got enough just to keep me going and have I got I do just gonna quickly shear these um, hedges down uh, be right back. okay guys so we have 16 sticky resin um, I didn't quite finish chopping all the leaves down, but the sun is starting to go down. So I need to make it back to the base, and I'm going to start cooking this sticky resin. Meaning that the only thing we have got left to get for our um, thingamablobby. I can't think of what it's called now. Um, I'm sure there's a zombie spawn here. There has got to be a zombie spawner here. If you're wondering why I'm not saying anything, it's because I'm listening. It doesn't sound... See, this is the same cave as what I was in earlier, I think. And there's a lot of zombies in it again. I didn't even look at you. Shut up. Hmm. Well, I will be killing you. Apparently not. Um. I thought that was a spider. Then didn't realise it was a bat. That. Oh, there you are. You are still piercing. Die! Where are you? I can hear you. I think he's above me. Let's quickly take this coal, uh, coal, um, thingy, what's it called? Uh, copper. Now, this has gone completely off track extremely quickly. Ow. Yep, I heard ya. I'm gonna take this sapphire if I can. Right. I can also hear a skeleton coming for me. Well, this has gone very... I was heading back towards the base, and now I'm not. And I do want to start getting back to heading towards the base. No, didn't know what to hit first, because skeletons are just bitches in general. Oh, and he... Oh, God, you have a little friend sat there with you. Oh, this is uh, not fun. Right. Actually, I'm going to keep going through this cave, purely because... Now, before you start saying, oh, I'm not into another cave, I'm going to need redstone for this circuit and the uh, electric furnace so unfortunately I'm going to be going and aiming for that and I need to find as quick of a direct route downwards as I can yeah surprise attack bitch right is this heading downwards it is let's keep going down as quick as possible and then we'll get back to the surface and go towards our base. So we're already on Y24, which is quite good. Uh, I don't know why I looked at that, because I've got it on my minimap. 
So we just need to keep heading down and down and down to find the redstone. Alright, uh, I've got no idea what this ore is. Is my inventory really full? Wow. Uh, let's get rid of the egg. There we go. I'll find out what this is once we get back to the base, but until then I just want to mainly get the redstone and get out. So actually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep digging in this general direction until I hit a cave or I hit uh, redstone. So be right back. Okay guys, so what I thought I was mining, I thought it was iron, but it's not iron because I'm not picking it up. It's ferrous ore, so once again I'll be looking, and that was convenient because there's a cave here as well. I'll be looking as to of what that actually is when I come back. Ooh, more uranium. Uranium's always going to come in handy somewhere at some point. Wow, that's a new war. What is it? Sulfur. Okay. Ooh, I didn't realise this is actually silver ore. Uh, let's get rid of some of this. And that is not what I wanted to pick up. That's what I wanted to pick up. Right, that's cobblestone, that's more ferrous ore, silver, that's that weird powder. All these different ores and I can't find redstone. Great. Where have you hidden my redstone? Lead, that's new as well, we'll take some lead back with us. Right, take some lead. Now, I'm going to get as much redstone as I can, I think, because by the looks of it, I'm going to need quite a few furnaces, so, yeah. Just keep mining, hopefully we'll be able to, more uranium, take that, more u uranium. And we've also found some green sapphires, which is handy, because green is my favourite colour, meaning that those tools are going to get used like nothing. Um, what else can we get rid of here? More cobblestone and some sticks. We'll get rid of the sticks. Oh, and we need to get rid of more cobblestone to see what that is. I'm hoping that I'm not going to break into lava. I would have done if I wasn't careful. But we have found some marvelous. How deep is that? Not very, so that's alright. We've found some redstone, so I actually need to get rid of some of that to get inventory space and start taking this redstone. So how many pieces did that give us? Nine. Now we're gonna need a little bit more than that and then we'll head back. So Oh, I thought we got lucky then. I thought we got lucky. Anyway, I mean if we can find some diamonds that'd be great. Oh, you are joking. You are joking me. That's right, I have enough to make a workbench. Which I'm just going to place in the lava. Because I'm stupid like that. I'm going to need some sticks. And we're actually going to make a sapphire pickaxe. And let's get rid of the saplings. Um... I need something to patch up the floor with. I've got dirt. There we go. And there's the last of the redstone that we're going to need. And I'm then just going to make my way to the surface, I think. Right. Up we go. Be right back. Uh, oh, God. Um, so apparently I'm in extreme hills biome. And... We have ourselves some silverfish blocks. How lovely. So what I've always wanted for Christmas is some silverfish blocks. Now I'm going to start digging up towards the base at the same time here because we're going to go that way anyway. Oh, alright. That was weird. Hopefully there's not too much gravel there, which there wasn't. We're on block 40, so I'll cut back once I am back again. Okay, we have surfaced, and I'm gonna, that's the walkway we came out of, so the base is only just there. So I've marked that, so in case I want to go back down, I know where to go. Now, 
I know... What was the plan for this episode? Oh no, the plan for this episode is to make the electric furnace. So, hopefully, if I've done this right, we just stick the sticky resin in there. Um, we have our um, redstone ready to go. So let's just double check the recipe for this. And we're going to need refined iron redstone. So I'm actually going to make more than one of these. I think I could make four of them if possible. So that would be lovely. Um, how do I make copper cable? I don't actually remember. Uh, so I need six uh, rubber and three copper so I've got my copper and I'm gonna need six rubber um, be right back once I've got all the materials we got an achievement energy flow whoop whoop um, I'm running out of inventory space again crap right let's get rid of the marble and then let's get rid of some of this crap into here and right there we go a bit more space right so hopefully that's going to keep cooking and we've now got our copper cable and then we need if I remember rightly I don't remember rightly uh, we need six copper cable two redstone one refined iron so we need one that like that I'm gonna need we've got one of them um, was it like that? Yes, electronic circuit. Oh, we've got one. And then we need our iron furnace in the middle. Redstone, redstone, and an electronic circuit. And we now have an electronic circuit. Woohoo. Be right back, guys, to get more resources. Okay, guys, so there we have it. We have four electric furnaces. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to type in feed the beast. Um, just undo that. Uh, I want feed the beast wiki, not the logo. There we go. Feed the beast wiki. All right. So I'm now going to find out. I know that electric furnace is the way to go. However, I need to find Go. out how to power the electric furnace. Sorry for the sound there, that's an ad. Um, the electric furnace improved version of the iron furnace is 12.5% faster and is the same as the name indicates uses electricity. By running on electricity instead of burning items, it is able to shut off immediately um, upon finishing and thus avoiding wasting energy. You can also take advantage of this by having some form of energy storage between the electric furnace and the generator. Right. And the electric furnace can be upgraded? What? Don't want to worry about upgrading. Do not want to worry about upgrading. Right, energy. The electric furnace can receive up to 32 EU low voltage packets unless it's upgraded to the transformer upgrade. If you supply it with any more than, uh, energy than low voltage, so to up without a transformer upgrade, the electric furnace will explode. Don't want that to explode. Each transformer upgrade enables one higher tier of power. The baseline, blah, 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 blah. So, how can I power the electric furnace? Hmm. Can I power it with a redstone torch, I wonder? Does that count as electricity? Let's put that there and that there. Or can I put coal in it? I'm able to put coal in it? Like a normal furnace? No. So, right, that's my stage for next guys, uh, next time, guys. So, I now know how to make an electric furnace. I've now got four of them. Um, so... You guys can decide. If I haven't started the episode already, comment below on what you're going to want to happen in the next episode. So, you've got the choice of, I start to build the base and not worry about electric furnaces, stick with the old furnaces for now and worry about all that. Or, I can go into the electric furnace and find out how to do it and build up a little setup in this first base area now. And set it up so I've got quick crafting, etc., etc., and all that, all that here. But thanks for watching, guys. As I say, comment below on what you want to happen in the next episode out of those two options. 
and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.